My nephew is 13 years old and has started lifting weights for football. Um, that's, that's good because he won about 10 months to get ready. As far as I can tell, he is doing the classic teenage lifting program of maxing out every workout on bench and squat. And he can get away with that for a while <laughs> because he's in that basic baby early learning curve like I was when I went from 65 pounds to 75 pounds to 85 pounds to 95 pounds to 132 pounds in a few weeks in my lifts. Uh, the next year I benched 200. The next year I benched 300. The next year you wouldn't believe me what I said. So when you first start, yeah, you can kind of get away with that. I like your follow-up. My question is how can I gently nudge, and I like that, him towards more sensible workouts and good form on lifts without boring him to death. That's excellent. So I have to agree 100% with my one of my – real heroes, Marty Gallagher. He insists absolutely on perfect technique, every movement, every time. Um, he has a part of his book, a part of his book, Strong Medicine, has his progressions in the lifts. I think in the bench press, I think you move to the double dumbbell bench, you move to the bench press, you move to the incline, you move to the military. In the squat, you go, Air squat, you know, body weight squat, goblet squat. Uh, there's then a couple other squat variations, but that's real simple. I, I agree with him 100%. Where you build not you build the load and the exercise progression at the same time. So that might be something you want to think about. So uh, um, if he's squirreling on his bench press like this, you know, slide two dumbbells or kettlebells in his hands. And make them bench double uh, double kettlebell, double dumbbell, and that will clear up all the squirreling that the, you know they kind of go like this when they bench press. In the squat, I think every day should have air squats, maybe as a warm up. Every day should have goblet squats, maybe as a warm up. But to practice excellent technique. So I think your question is excellent. So get yourself an exercise progression and marry that with a load progression. So we're moving ahead all the time. Uh, it'll be fascinating because, you know, you could probably do goblet squats for a month, slide to front squats for a month, slide to back squats for a month. If you could, well, or the way I would teach you would be goblet squats, overhead squats, front squats, back squats. And when you come back to goblet squats, call it your deload time, you'll notice that all kinds of things are better. And as you move back up again, the load will increase over and over and over. Remember, exercise selection is one of the real lost gems of modern training. That's why I think that site that Brian put together, Dan John Workouts, is so good. It's because first you pick out your tools, and the other thing you also pick out is appropriate exercises for you. 